okay. So in this lesson, you are coming to take a detailed look at how you can play El Shaddai, Adonai, by Nathaniel Basi, and it's in the key of C. So without wasting much time, let's get into the song itself. Now, this, this song is, is, is very, very simple and basic. It starts off on the 6 to 7 to 1, or what you popularly call Lati do, right? 6, 7, 1, and then 2, 3, 4, then to the 5. Back to one, so uh, la ti do or six seven one, then re mi fa, which is then to the five, then to the one. Okay, so and then the next part of the song, which goes like now, all this part is on the one, so from there you come to the four, the three, or five to the mi. Then come to the four again. Then five. Then to the flat. Then to the flat six or the Z. And then you start the song again. You start the song all over again from the La. Z do Re Mi Fa. So okay. Now six, seven, one, two, three, four. Now this is the basic progression of the song. Let's take our time and then look at the chords in details. Here is where the interesting stuff happens. Okay, so in my cover. And if you haven't watched the cover, I have left a, a, a link in the description below so you can watch the cover I played before this tutorial. In my cover, you realize that this time I did not uh, play only piano, but then uh, it was a full cover. So there was the bass guitar, and then there, was a, there were a lot of parts, and then there was even the drums. Okay, so that approach is different from you playing only piano. And I hope you know that. So if you are playing a song and you are with your band, the approach is mostly different from you playing alone as a pianist. So you realize that if I'm always playing alone as a pianist, what I do is I, 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 I make sure that my left hand is, is holding the bass notes since there's no bass guitar and I am the only one playing. So then I'll, I'll go like... Um, But since there's a bass guitarist, things will change a little. Now this time, I will not be playing the bass notes. I will leave it for the bass guitarist because that becomes a waste. The bass guitarist is holding the notes and I'm also holding the notes with my left hand. It's a waste. So what I can do here is to play chords with my left hand and then do extra stuff with my right hand. Okay, so what happens is... and and. I will take my time and then do a tutorial on this concept alone. That is how to uh, play chords with your left hand when you are with your band instead of playing individual notes or, or let me say octaves or stuff like that. But for now, just follow what you are doing for the, for the sake of this song. Okay. So the simple stuff you can even do to play chords on your left hand is to is to actually try to play the triads with your left hand. That, I mean, that's the basic way you can learn how to play the chords on your left hand. So we know that the progression of the song is 6, 7, 1, and then 2, 3, 4, or la ti do re mi fa. So what's the chord that you would normally play on the 6? Is it this? We are, now we are talking about triads. Is it this? Or this? Or the second inversion? So the one that you would have played on the right hand, play it on the left hand. So let's say the second inversion. So on my six, I'll play the second inversion. Instead of playing this, I'll play this. And then on the seven, I'll normally play a five over a seven, right? Which is a G major chord over the seven, over the B. So I'll transfer this G major to my left hand. So it become and then to your one which is the first inversion of the one which is what uh, 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 um, e c g sorry sorry e which is e g c okay. so the whole thing would be like and then on my two i would have played a b flat major chord over the d which is the two okay. and this is the b flat second inversion so I have the F, B flat, and then D. So this time, 
We are taking away the smooth and we are playing the B flat chord with our left hand. And then over the three, I would have still played the one chord over my three. So we are taking it to, we are, we are transferring to our left hand then. So we have then then to our four, which is the the, the root chord of the F, F major chord. So on your left hand, transfer all these chords to your left hand. Then to the five over one, right? Five over one. So or you can also play the second inversion of the, of the one. So in all, it will be like it will it will, it will go like yeah. That now our right hand is free to even express uh, itself in diverse ways. So let's let's take a look at the melody first, which is. So it's like do re mi and then fa mi mi right and then la do ti mi okay. so what will happen is so if you are a beginner and you are playing with a band you can easily do this it's the chord that we just learnt on our left hand with the melody you can easily do that as a beginner and if you have a, if you have a bass guitarist and, and a drama i can assure you that it will sound very nice now you are playing the melody with your right hand and then the chord with your left hand so now let's take what we just did to the next level so let's just go ahead and turn these these uh, melody notes into chords and then it will be like We are just transferring some of the chords we learned on our left hand to the right hand. So, you see, I have my uh, A minor or La second uh, second inversion here, and I've just repeated the chord on my right hand. So, and then you see, I'm I'm still playing the same chord on my left hand on my right hand. To now over here, I've played the first inversion of the of of the of the one chord left hand and on the second inversion of, of, the, of the same chord on my right hand for the sake of the melody or because of the melody so it so go like this and then this time remember our two our two was this right so for the sake of the melody let's invert this chord as well so I have the B flat root chord versus the B flat second inversion on my left hand so it's practically the same chord as I'm playing, but then I'm playing different inversions. And then sometimes I, I maintain the same inversion on both hands. And then sometimes I, I play different inversions on both hands. So in this case, second inversion, first uh, root chord. Right. And once again, I have the second inversion on my right hand of the one. That would be on the three, actually. And then I have the first inversion, which we already know, on my left hand. So. And this time, I still have my four, which chord on my left hand. But on my right hand, I'm playing the first inversion of the two. Again, because of the melody. So you have realized that I've been using root chords throughout. So, Next chord I want us to learn is this, and there's a D major chord right after the Adonai, which is so this is just a D major chord, and you see I have the same chord on both hands, and this time I have the five over my one chord, and then look at this carefully. That's the first inversion, and I have the same chord on both hands again. 
have the same God on both. I have the same God on both hands again. Okay, so practice these chords. Practice it. Maybe you might be used to playing. Because we are playing chords on both hands, this one looks a little bit richer when we are playing with a band than this. And and sometimes when 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 your keyboard tuning is, is not balanced, especially when the keyboard has a lot of bass in it, it will directly interfere with what the notes the bass guitarist is playing. So we have to we have to be able to do this. Now let's take what we have done. Um, to the next level as well. Now here is where we still maintain what we are doing on our left hand. We are maintaining what we are doing on our, on our left hand, but on our right hand, we are coming to expand on the chords. So though we are learning how to play El Shaddai Adonai, it's like we are also learning different concepts in the same song as well. So one way that you can actually expand on your chords is to combine two inversions together and play it with one hand and i don't know who you are but maybe you might have to practice this or you already know how to do this so just just go ahead and do it but if you need to sit down and practice then i would just encourage you to sit down and practice you are not in a competition with anybody so so we can do now this is, this is an example of what i'm talking about and this makes your chords even richer or it, it, they make your chords sound even richer so I have my regular 5 here, we already know this chord but then look here, look, look, at, look at my right hand I have this one and I've added this extra notes to it so it's making, so, so it's like I'm playing the second version of the G major at the same time the root chord together okay. so The same time, I'm playing the first inversion and the second inversion together of the one. So then, so I'm playing the second inversion and then the root chord together with my right hand. This chord, right? We already know this one. Then to this, we, okay, we already this one. We won't do anything to it. Then we won't do anything to this one as well. Go ahead and try. Go ahead and try. Think so close, Richard. Good. Now let's take it to the next level. Now, here is where we begin to substitute the trials that we were playing on our, on our left hand with other chords outside triads. Or it calls us another triad that will make it even more richer. So we can do on the other side. We can start with our our, our our basic six that we already know. On the seven, you see. Now this is this is the tri tune for the B. The seven is B, right? The, the seven note for C is B. Now this is the B tri tune. So instead of playing the five chord, now this time I'm substituting this with a tritone. So I have the minor third in my sixth, okay, or the more, or the flat three and the six. Okay. So instead of playing this for the seven, I play this, and then you can combine your two inversions, which is the five. Or if it's too difficult, you can just do this. So we have and on my one is instead of playing the one and this now I'm playing the try to again. So it was basically so the try to have on my one is what the three and the flat seven or the me and the top and then just play your one. You can combine your two inversions. So 
Now on the two, you know this already. Now simple, just just add just add the A to it. The moment you add the the the, uh, the A to it, it becomes a major seventh chord, but it has been inverted. So look at the B flat major seventh chord. I can bring this B over here like this, and then I can take this D and bring it here. It's still a B flat major seventh chord, but it has been inverted. You see. So so we we'll, we we'll go like. Um, Take a look at this nice chord. Okay, so on my left hand, I still have the same triad. So you see, I'm just doing, uh, I'm just taking away the triads and then and then replacing them with tritones. There's a G triton. Okay. But this time I'm not playing the third and the flat seven. What I'm playing is the flat seven and the third. It's, it's substituting this guy, so we are taking away this guy, and then we are playing. This one. And instead of playing a five, I'm playing an E major chord. I'm playing an E major chord over the five. And this is a very nice chord that I like playing on the five. So. you can make to the song. Now let's go to begins with the one and then the one is played for quite some time okay so on the one just play your one now even in the cover I, I i played two inversions with my right with my left hand which was the root chord the second inversion so go ahead and do this over the melody and then this time i play the second inversion and the root chord now the style of play actually makes your your chords sound very rich because now I have how many notes? I think eight notes. I'm playing an eight note chord. It is just the same one for this. For this, it is just the same chord. It is just the same chord. But see how I've been able to expand the chord to an eight note chord. For the sake of the melody, I keep to play a four. Now I have a root chord and I have a first inversion on my right hand, but it's still over the one. And I come back to the one again. And then this interesting four that they played, now they went to a four, but it, it was not your regular four. It was a four. Over. Basically, it's like a four over a five chord, which is the root, which is the, the G chord. Okay. So it's like an F over G. So. But one interesting thing you can do on this F over G is to is to take away the bass note and then play its tritone. And we have we have played this chord over the seven, right? But this time we are playing it over the F. Then to the three on the three. This very interesting chord, which is um, the three and then a flat six, and then a two five one on my right hand. So, then, so try and do this melody as well. So, six seven one. So, Then to the four. Yeah, so I did I did this 
just just nice movement you can try it this is the do me to the real far to the me so well, one three four six three five so and then I did the grace notes from the from the D to the E when I was playing the three and the five so so we can start slowly so take a look at this again so you first of all play D and then the G and then you switch from the, from the D to the E so then I continue backwards so I was, I was just following the melody okay so so if I, if I combine everything it will be um, Watch this carefully. So on my left hand, I have the F major seventh for the four. It's a very nice movement you can play on the four. It's a nice chord you can play on the four. So I, I just have the one over the five. The bass note for that place is the five. So I just have the one over the five. It's over the A flat or R flat six. So you can clearly see that I have the E, A flat, B on my left hand, and I have the D, F, A flat, B, D on my right hand. And the, 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 the notes in the chord may look so many, but this chord is very easy to play. Go ahead and give it a try. So Chords again. Don't forget this chord. And and I for, I forgot to even play the intro, but it's totally skipped me. So let's take a look at the intro. But the the chords in the intro and the and the, and the notes are basically the same as a song. Just take it it, it. it goes like. So so it it it's it goes like Okay, so let's let's break that that one down. Okay, so let's break that one down. It's just the same six, seven, one. Now I'm glad we have even learned the chords. So it's very easy for us to learn the intro. Six, seven, one. Now the same chords. You see, we are playing the same chords. Now you can clearly see that we are playing the same chords. So then two to the three, which is uh, I'm playing this chord because we have always played them. Now we play this chord over the one. We can play it over the three. So six. On the four, we already know this bass note, this left hand chord for the four. Now on my right hand, you see I can play a six on the right hand, right? Now we know this is a six chord on the right hand. So we are playing two inversions, the root chord and the first inversion. So the note becomes A, C, E, A. Okay, over this four. But it's basically a four chord. So all these notes. For the four, so then, then, uh, now you see. So, um, the 
because we are on the white keys i will just say drop all these notes to the you drop all these notes backwards to the next white keys which is so you see lift your whole finger and then bring it backwards because we are on the white keys so So on my left hand, you see, it's very, it's, it's very similar to the one we played on the, on the F. We are, we are dropping this whole thing back to the E. So on my left hand, I have the E, G, B, G, and on my right hand, it's like I have a G major chord, which is G, B, D, and then G again. So, and then this is another huge chord. It's a G diminished seventh chord. Okay, so let's take a look at this chord. So it's a G diminished, basically a G diminished seventh chord. I have a G diminished seventh chord on my left hand, and I have the same G diminished seventh chord on my right hand. So I'm repeating these. So I'm playing the same chord on two hands. And then you see this this guy, this big this finger, this guy is free. So I'll play the G with it, and that's all. So over the six in the intro to the two. So from here, so from the G diminished seventh chord, you go back to your F major seventh chord that we already know. Now this time we are playing the F major seventh chord on the four, but on the two. And then I have the second inversion of the two chord, which is the D minor on my right hand, which is the six two four. Okay, so now I just invert this chord downwards. So then yeah, no man. So from the la or from the from the six. So from the two go to the flat five before the five. From the two we come to five, but from flat five to five. So then to the two. Then so this guy is a free guy. Two. And on my left hand I have the tritone for the two. So which is the F sharp or the flat five and the one. And on my right hand. E, A, C. And this chord can also be played on the two as well. Or the flat five. They all work. So. Then we play our five. Our lovely five. So basically, we have gone through every part of the song. Let me just play through once. Okay, okay, so let's take it from the intro. So it'll be like. How is it? We have learned this chord. Then we start the song itself.
so this is it for this lesson and you know we we, we learned interesting concepts and then some interesting quotes in this song and i pray that you you wouldn't just uh, learn everything for the sake of this song but even with the style now in this lesson i'm more particular about the style of play playing chords with your left hand i hope you practice and then and then um so and these few chord substitutions that we did i hope you will uh, be able to play them in other songs as well okay so if you have any questions or comments just uh, let me know and I'll, I'll look at it and then get back to you and i hope you have a blessed day make sure to subscribe if you haven't and also share for others to also benefit from this lesson and, and like for me as well god richly bless you and let's meet in our next lesson